Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, coming at you with another drawing video. Today's video, we're going to be drawing uh, Tord from Ed's World. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. T-O-R-D. Again, I've never seen Ed Ed's World. I don't really actually know what it is. But I looked up the character. This is supposedly what he looks like. And this video was requested by Edlin Rabinon. Uh, so thank you so much for the request. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name too bad. Uh, and, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to be drawing tr or Tord. I, I, I guess that's what it is. Uh, we're we're going to be drawing this guy right here. Um, so yeah, he, honestly, this shouldn't be a hard one. Uh, this is more on the easier side of things. So it should be a good, good video. Um, but other than that, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. That really helps me out. Also, um... Actually, there is no also. <laughs> so let's just get our pencils ready, and let's jump in. All right, guys. So to start off, what we are going to do is draw a nice, decent-sized circle. This is going to be his head, but we're going to keep it light, just sketching out a rough circle. And then under that circle, you're basically going to get, like, um, a rectangle here, like right underneath like that, and then we're gonna get another rectangle right about here, so this is gonna be like his upper body, this is gonna be his lower body, and then we're gonna get a two circles here for his feet, we're gonna get one circle here for his hand, and then a little curve line for his arm, and then we can get like an oval for his arm, and then his hand would be right about there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good for uh, the gesture that we need, so let's, um, Jump into detail here, and we're going to start right with his face. So, if you want to, you can draw the crosshairs. They'd be something like this. Um, he's kind of looking head on, um, so the line should be in the center. And then you get a line going across for the eye line. But what we're going to start out doing is just going straight into detail here and just drawing his head shape. So, what we're going to do is start right about here, and we're just going to draw a line going straight down. And then when we get to like the bottom part of this circle, we're just going to kind of curve it around and in like that. And then, should we jump into his eyes first or do his hair? We'll do his eyes first. So we'll do it because they're easier. So you're going to get two big circles for his eyes. And they're very simple. All you need to do is draw a line going straight across here and then here like that and then all you do is draw a basically just kind of fall off the circle or basically just draw like a big U shape like so and then you draw a little half circle here and here because he's looking over to our right and you can just shade in this eye portion right here and that's pretty much it for his eyes then for his mouth it's this little curve line right about there like that and then he also has a band-aid so to draw that in you basically just draw this little square right on his cheek there like so and then we could also get like his ear in so that's what we'll start we'll, we'll do his ear and then kind of go into the rest of his head so his ear is going to be right about here slightly below his eye line and all you're going to do is draw this nice C shape like this so it's like a backward C and then we're just going to draw a nice little curve line here like this. You want to leave a little gap right in between here. And we'll just get a little line going down here for where his neck starts. And also right here. So kind of like right where this um, eye is. We're going to just draw a line going down here for his neck. And we're just going to leave it there for a second. Now we're going to draw in his hair. So his hair is actually not too bad. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to start with like he has like a spike right here. So we're just going to draw a line curving down like this, and then you just curve it up like so for the first one. And now he's going to have a series of spikes going across here. So to draw those in, we're just going to start at the end here and just draw a spike, and then another spike, and then another spike, and then he has like one more kind of going off like that. And now for the rest of his hair, it's kind of broken up into like three parts. So we got like his two spikes right here. We got his side piece and then we got like the back of his head over there like that. Um, so I'm going to start off with the two front spikes. So very simply, you're just going to draw um, just like a curve line 
Then it's going to go down like that, another one that goes up, and then down right about there. And then for this side, you're just going to draw one spike that goes off like this. And then right here, it's just going to kind of curve down and in right about there. And then we would see a little bit of his ear here, so we're just going to draw a nice little kind of curve line right there. And for the rest of his hair, it's going to start a little bit before this line ends. So we're going to go up here, and you're just going to draw a nice little curve line going down into a spike here. And then it kind of rounds off here, so it just goes down. And then we get to the end here, you're going to get a spike, and then you're going to get like another little spike. And I'm going to stop there because the hood's going to kind of intercept that. So I'll just stop there. And he also has two spikes going off here and here. So that's pretty much it for his hair. And now we could start going into his body. So the easiest way to do it is you basically, I like doing two ovals like here and here just to kind of get where like his hood's going to be. But his hood's pretty simple. So we're going to start right here, kind of right next to this line for the neck. And we're just going to draw a nice little curve line that goes down here. And it's going to curve up like that. And it's going to intercept the neck here. And then in, for the neck, it's going to start right here. And you're just going to get a nice little curve line like that for his shirt. And now here, you're just going to get a nice long curve line like this here. And then one that starts right about here. And then just get a nice little curve line. This is where I said it was going to like intercept the hair a little bit. Oh, also we can do his ear detail. almost forgot about that. So what we're going to do here, we're going to start right here on the ear, and we're just going to draw a nice little curve line going up. Then it's going to go straight down and then curve up like that. So nothing too hard. You can erase any overlap as well. Um, so now that we've got that down, we're going to draw his string or his sweatshirt strings, which are fairly easy. You're basically going to just draw a, two parallel lines going down about here. Then you're going to draw kind of like an oval like that. Uh, I went a little bit too far with that one line. Like that. And then you're just going to put a little, little square at the end there, like so. And then same thing on this one, two parallel lines, an oval, and then a square. Like so. And now we could draw in kind of like his sweatshirt. So we're going to start right here. And we're just going to draw a line going down. It's going to go out slightly near the end as it curves around and goes straight across right about there. And now we could draw in the hand, because this is where the hand's going to meet the uh, sweatshirt. So the hand's pretty simple. Um, it's going to be right about here. And what you want to do is, do, or if you want to gesture it in, you're going to have like three circles about there at the end. And that's pretty much all you need. So I'm going to start with this sleeve and just draw a nice little curve line that kind of curves around like that. Then off that curve line, we're going to start here and just draw a nice line that kind of follows the circle up until we get here and it's going to round off into the finger there like that. I'll zoom in a little bit more. And then from the finger here we're going to get a line curving up and you basically get like this S curve like that. And then before I erase I'll then you just get little uh, bumps for the fingers here and then another one there like that and a nice little curve line that goes back up to where the sleeve is. And I'm going to erase um, a lot of this and then redraw it in just so it's super clear so there's no confusion just get that curve line go in here get that kind of S shape and then two little bumps going off this finger and a curve line going in there and once we have that done we can basically just draw this nice um, start at the end of the sleeve here this nice curve shape like this and then when we get about here we're just going to draw a line going straight down like that and a trick is you want this line to hit slightly before the end of the sleeve. And now I'll zoom out here. And now all we need to do here is just draw a nice curve line from the end of the sleeve to the this part of the hood. So nothing too bad. Now we could draw in his pants, and his pants are kind of equally as easy. So we're going to start right here and draw a nice little curve line kind of right about there. Uh, just kind of floating there. But for the pants, what we're going to do is draw a line kind of curving down. Go straight down until we get to about here. Then it's going to curve around. And then in the center of this line, you're going to get a line going down like that. And then another little curve line here like this. And it's gonna just going to curve up 
and go straight into the hand there. And then before we get in the shoes, we will draw his other arm, because this arm's much easier. It's a nice little curve line that just goes straight down, and it's going to curve in like that. And then for the thumb, you're just going to get a little curve line here like this, and then another rounded line like that for the hand. And now all we need to do is draw in the shoes. So the shoes, fairly simple. Um, this shoe is going to kind of be more like forward, so it's going to come this way, so it's more of like a U-shape where this one's more on the side, so it's going to go down and kind of go over and in like this. Um, but once you got these shapes down, what you're going to do here is um, you can actually darken in this shape. This is actually real, real good, so I'm just going to darken this in like that. And now I'm going to start here, and basically um, an easy way to do it is just draw like a little oval right there, and you're going to start right here, draw a curve line until you hit the oval, follow like this circle and then go in like that and then you can erase any uh like guideline right there and now here basically what you're going to do is you're going to get like an oval and then another oval like underneath it and then you're just going to draw in kind of like this part of it so you don't want like this middle line there that's for like the shoelaces so something like that and now we're going to pretty much do the same thing on this side, but we do see more of the side of the shoe. So what we're going to do is just kind of darken in the outside shape like this. Then the center here, you're going to get a little curve line that curves over and down. It's going to curve across like that. And then here, we're going to get that two oval thing. So we're going to get an oval here, here, but we see it more on the side. So we'll just darken in the shapes that we need. And that is pretty much it. Again, not a hard one. Pretty fairly simple character to draw. Um, yeah, I definitely say this is one of the more easier ones to do. But I will put the sketch that I just did up there. I will put the inked version I did beforehand up there as well. So you get a look at the sketch and the clean version. But that is pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And thank you... Edlin uh, Rabadon, again, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but thank you so much for the request. If you guys have requests, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'll put your name on my list and then just tune in on Sunday and hopefully your request pops up. So um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.